YouTube, we are back with part two. In the last video, I reset the NBA to 1983. And now here we are in the off season of 1996, awaiting the draft lottery to see who's gonna land Allen Iverson, Kobe Bryant, you name it. One of the greatest draft classes in NBA history. Also, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. We're on the road to 200 subscribers. We're at 170 right now. And without further ado, let's get into the draft lottery. And the Dallas Mavericks get the first overall pick followed by the Seattle Supersonics and the Vancouver Grizzlies. Let's see who gets drafted first. With the first pick, the Dallas Mavericks select Allen Iverson out of Georgetown. With the second pick, the Supersonics select Kobe Bryant. Kobe is in Seattle. With the third pick, Stefan Marbury goes to the Vancouver Grizzlies. Sharif Abdurrahim goes to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now let's see who the Celtics can draft. The Celtics, Marcus Camby. They select Marcus Camby. Okay, they got a strong front court. There will be no buckets in their paint. With the sixth pick, the Toronto Raptors select Steve Nash. Steve Nash stays in Canada. The seventh pick the phoenix suns select ray allen now with the eighth pick the pacers select Peja stoyakovich to join anthony cheeks the philadelphia 76ers select they trade their pick to boston and the celtics select jermaine o'neal i thought anthony cheeks was about to get the franchise player but it turns out the celtics draft another big man now the bucks with the 10th pick select Lou Harrington, who the fuck is that? Antoine Walker goes number 12 to the Atlanta Hawks. And Zedrunas Ilgauskas goes to Toronto to team up with Steve Nash. Now we got Hakeem Elijah one as a free agent. And Shaq too. Alonzo Mourning as well. Kenny Smith. Charles Barkley. The Nuggets are able to re-sign Shaq. And the Cavs keep Alonzo Mourning too. The Bulls are able to keep Hakeem as well. And Charles Barkley stays a blazer. And Kenny Smith takes his talents to New Jersey to join Allen Houston in the Nets. Zadrunas Elgaskis, he didn't get picked up by the Raptors? The Raptors let Zadrunas Elgaskis walk and he gets picked up by the Timberwolves. Now they got Sharif Abdurrahim and Zadrunas Elgaskis. This team is going to be a problem. The Raptors are able to keep Latrell Sprewell though. Another team I'd be on the lookout for is the Pistons. They got Isaiah Thomas, they got a young Jerry Stackhouse, a young Chris Webber, they got whoever this dude is, and they got a young Jalen Rose too. Shaq wins his back-to-back -back MVP, okay? 28 and 13 with three blocks a game. AI wins the rookie of the year, averaging 28 points. That's a crazy performance. 19 and 8 off the bench. Crazy. And David Robinson wins his first DPOI, putting up 13 rebounds and three blocks a game. Jamal Mashburn, MIP, 20 points. Hey, that's a good jump. The all NBA first team. We have Vin Baker. That's surprising. 23 and 12, okay, okay. And Jason Kidd, 23 and 9, making his first All NBA first team. Michael Jordan still there. He's shooting 52 percent on 38. Okay, never mind. It wasn't as impressive as I thought. Chris Webber back on here, obviously MVP Shaq. All NBA second team, we got AI the rookie and KG. KG putting up 18 and 11. He's he's taking off now. Oh, we got Scotty on the bullets. He's gone for the season, but he makes the All NBA third team along with Hakeem. Joe Smith, finals MVP of last year, putting up 21 points as an 82 overall for the Lakers. Tim Hardaway, Mahmoud abdul Rauf doing his thing in Sacramento, 25 a game. All defensive first team, we got MJ, we got Scotty, we got KG, David Robinson, the DPOY. Shaq on the all defensive second team, Gary Payton. All rookie first team. Stefan Marbury, 20 points in Vancouver, solid. Steve Nash, 15 and eight in Toronto. That's a solid rookie year. Sharif Abdul-Rahim, 16 in Minnesota. Kobe, 16 in Seattle. I'm interested to see where this goes. He shot, he shot really efficient from the field and from three. All rookie second team, we got Marcus Camby that we know of. 10 points, block and a half a game, doing Marcus Camby things. In the first round of the playoffs, we have the Denver Nuggets with the number one seed alongside with the Miami Heat. I'm interested to see how this will go. We got David Robinson's Warriors matched up against the Lakers. We got Jason Kidd, Larry Johnson, and rookie Ray Allen up against Shaq. Denver makes quick work of Jason Kidd and the Suns. And the Clippers, led by who? Marvin Bufford. Oh, this is the guy on the Knicks last 
last video. And Joe Dumar still, he was there on the championship run years ago. They're able to make quick work of Michael Jordan and Diddy. Michael Jordan's barely made it out of the first round half of these years and he never gets past the, the, the conference finals. And the seventh seed Warriors sweep the second seed Lakers. I had a feeling that was gonna be a, a series to circle. We got Anthony Cheeks and the Sixers taking care of Detroit. Chris Webber is no match for the Cheek Riders. And now we got the Warriors facing off against Patrick Ewing and the Spurs. They've been kind of quiet lately. I'm interested to see what Patrick Ewing can do. And the Warriors take it in seven. Dominique Wilkins still on the Warriors performs well for the closeout game and patrick ewing is nowhere to be seen he fouls out shaq and penny hardaway making quick work of the clippers 24 and 16 for penny hardaway gary payton and vin baker deflating the bbl of the cheek riders with the gentleman sweep and calbert cheney leading the hornets to defeat the nets we got the number one and two seed teams in the east versus the number one and seven seed in the west and the denver nuggets sweep david robinson and the warriors 21 22 and 7 in a closeout game is actually crazy but it is no match for penny and shaq this is what they could have been if it wasn't for injuries on penny hardaway man ain't no way this dude gary payton put up three points in 33 minutes in a closeout game in game seven he's lucky he got good role players on that team that was crazy and we have both number one seeds the miami heat led by gary payton versus shaq and penny hardaway i'm gonna be sim casting every single game in the series i feel like i didn't bring enough attention to each series last video looks like penny and shaq are able to get it done in game one it's a three-point game with a minute 50 left we're jumping in denver up by three we got Johnson gets packed, but there's a foul called. Kevin Johnson just got his layup packed by Shaq. And there was a foul to bail him out. Can he make both free throws to put the heat within one? You can't brick this. The first is, okay. He got it, he got it to go. Second one is good too. Denver by one. Penny up top, sizing up. He blows pat. Oh, good defense by Kevin Johnson. Spin move. Oh, give him a little hezzy. Post hook. And it, oh, no good. He clanked a layup. Penny Hardaway just bricked a layup. Shaq on the screen. Are they going to drop a play? Gill wide open for three. It's good. Kendall Gill hits the three in clutch time. They're trying to run a play to get Gary Payton the ball, it looks like. Kevin Johnson with the screen up top. Is he going to pull it? No, he gets it to Montgomery who dunks it. Final 45 seconds left. Penny Hardaway on the drive. Layup it gets blocked. Gets blocked. Kevin Johnson runs it up, Peyton for three, hits it, and Miami takes the lead with 40 seconds left. Ball, the long lost ball brother, sizing up. 20 seconds left, Alexander now, three, two, Alexander forces it, and it's good! Denver hits the three and goes up by two, with 16 seconds left, that was a Hail Mary attempt. But he laces it in the face of his defender. I'm not even gonna lie, that was a crazy ass shot, bro. 10 seconds left. Can Miami tie the series? Five. Final seconds. Byron Scott pull up jump shot. And he hits it to tie the game at 102. 1 1.9 remaining on the clock. Byron Scott hits the pull up jump shot. Denver has one more chance to win this game. Who are they going to get the inbound to? They get it to Kendall Gill, who shoots it from half court. And what the hell kind of shot attempt was that? Yo, who the fuck drew up that play? Get him out. Terminate that contract. Tell him to pack his bags. Gary Payton in the corner now gets a screen from Montgomery. Finds him on the cut. And Shaq clamps his ass up. They need to just get it to Shaq, man. That's what they're doing. Okay, they got it to Shaq. Shaq, no one's guarding Shaq. Penny, wide open. Gets the layup to go. Denver by two now with a minute remaining. Gary Payton's wide open. Hit him for three. And he hits it. And he laces his second clutch three of the game. Penny looking to get a screen up top. Pull up jump shot and hits it. That's the story of these games so far. Just pull up midi. Byron Scott up top. Gary Payton again for three. And he misses it. He bricks the wide open three. 
Kendall Gill on the pull up for three gets fouled 29% from the field good god what are you chucking to Kendall Gill who shoots it from half court oh yeah I remember what you're chucking second free throw is good can he make this a two possession game and he hits it oh they almost got a turnover Gary Payton in the corner for three yes he hits it oh my god Gary Payton is a sniper we got Gary Curry out here can he make it a three-point game for the Nuggets and he misses it Byron Scott finds Morris who almost turns it over but Payton with a layup and he ties the game at 116 Penny gets switched on by Byron Scott two on the clock one to win the game and he got it Penny Hardaway with ice in his veins the last shot doesn't even count and it misses anyways Denver walks away with a 2-0 series lead Penny Hardaway 28 points and the game winner in overtime and Gary Payton hitting three clutch three-pointers but still takes the L we jump into game three it's tied at 110 with a minute and 42 seconds left Kendall Gill with a step back jump shot and hits it over Gary Payton Kevin Johnson looking to create a play and he does gets a screen from Gary Payton now gets it down low to Vin Baker on the block getting locked up but gets a post hook and gets it to go 47% contest Vin Baker shows no mercy now the long lost ball brother gets it into Shaq and Shaq takes it up but misses a layup Kevin Johnson wide open for three and he hits it Miami up by three what a clutch shot from Kevin Johnson looks like they're trying to sub in the start as the Shaq gets the ball in the block post hook is good Kevin Johnson now oh he finds a wide open he takes a fade away three what are you doing they're trying to get it down to Shaq and they do they need to send it double Shaq takes it all the way and just bodies timeout Miami Denver by one Gary Payton up top he needs one shot to go they got 10 seconds left the game on the line Byron Scott on the screen. Gary Payton finds some space. Vin Baker, two with one shot is no good. And Miami goes down three nothing to the Denver Nuggets who hold on for a game three victory in Miami. Lafonso Ellis led the heat in points with 32. Shaq and Penny once again too dominant. And we sub into game four with a minute 42 remaining. Denver is up by two. Can they finish the sweep in the finals? Kendall Gill gets fouled. Or is it out of bounds? It is out of bounds off of Gary Payton. I look to get it to Shaq personally. Yes, they, they run a pick and roll with Shaq. Kendall Gill pull up three is no good. Montgomery on the rebound. Gets it down to Vin Baker. On the block. Takes it to the post. One dribble gets clamped up. And takes a layup is no good. Folks with the rebound. Kendall Gill on the midi. Hits it! Gary Payton calls for an ISO on the left wing. Can he take Carr down low? And a violation. It looks like an offensive three violation on Vin Baker. The long lost ball brother finding Shaq in the post and they intentionally foul the hack of Shaq. And will it pay off? Shaq's first free throw. That free throw looking crazy, bro. That is not Shaq's free throw. What the hell? Oh, nah. That is way too pure and fluent to be Shaq's free throw. He hits both though. What the hell? Vin Baker. He always sells the bag, but this time, he forces his way and he makes a layup through the backboard. I'm sorry, I take back what I said. He has 35 and 16. Who tries to take it all the way and does. And he misses a layup. Gets double. Can he find Vin Baker for three contested? And he bricks it. And that does it. The Denver Nuggets win their second NBA championship in three seasons led by Shaq and Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway takes home the finals MVP this season. He put up 23 and nine, two steals, and the Miami Heat gets swept in the finals despite being the top seed in the East. Magic Johnson calls it a career at age 37, coming off a great season for the Lakers. And the Dallas Mavericks, get back to back number one overall picks who can they draft alongside Allen Iverson with the first pick the Dallas Mavericks select Tim Duncan out of Wake Forest 
It is a new era of Dallas Mavericks basketball. The Toronto Raptors with the second pick select Tracy McGrady, just like in real life. Minnesota on the third pick gets Keith Van Horn. And Chauncey Billups goes to Vancouver. The Atlanta Hawks draft Tim Thomas. No, not that Tim Thomas. Steven Jackson goes to the Cavs. Chris Webber is a free agent. Will he stay in Detroit, his home city? And will Gary Payton try and build off of what the Heat did last season? Same with Vin Baker. Are either of them staying? It's actually a really deep free agency class. We got a lot of big names. And the Pistons are able to keep Chris Webber on a four-year deal. The Nuggets keep Penny Hardaway. The Heat are able to keep Vin Baker. Allen Houston stays with the Nets. And Isaiah Ryder able to stay with anthony cheeks and scotty pippen signs with the orlando magic scotty pippen joining up with john stockton gary payton to the lakers replacing magic johnson tim hardaway joins the los angeles clippers hoping to to finally get back to the championship status they had for that one year with clyde byron scott leaves miami for the celtics joining the young core of Grant Hill, Kevin Garnett, and Marcus Camby, and Jermaine O'Neal. And the Warriors are able to keep Dominique around, who's now 37 years old. This dude, David Robinson, wins another MVP, his sixth MVP of the 90s and shoots 33 percent from three he's getting better at shooting a 99 mid-range first of all and then a 75 three-pointer this dude is getting better at shooting threes tim duncan wins rookie of the year 18 and 12 billy owens six man of the year and david robinson wins dpoi hurt thomas mip all nba first team jason kidd allen iverson chris weber kg and david robinson all nba second team tim hardaway on the clippers he's injured but 22 game calbert cheney the hornets hope is injured penny hardaway all nba second team patrick ewing and vin baker again vin baker 24 and 11 he's going crazy 35 percent from three two all nba third team gary payton stefan marbury averaging 23 a game for the vancouver grizzlies tim duncan is in his rookie year antonio mcdice for the indiana pacers all nba third team alonzo mourning as well all defensive team all defensive second team Gary Payton for the Lakers. All rookie team T Mac averaging 14 a game. Could he stay on the Raptors long term in this sim? We'll see. Chauncey Billups, 12 points for Vancouver. Solid. Tim Thomas, 9 points. Solid shooting, though. They don't even have a full all rookie second team. That's crazy. Rod Strickland and the Utah Jazz clinched the first seed in the West. And we got the Cheek Riders clinching the first seed in the East. And the eighth seed Clippers sweeping. Rod Strickland and the Jazz and Jamal Mashburn. Tim Hardaway able to get it done with his new squad. This is genuinely starting to piss me off, bro. Michael Jordan sucks. Man, they have to get Paris Bird to carry this team instead of Michael Jordan and Diddy? Get that fucking smile off your face. Joe Smith once again. He seems to be a playoff legend for the Lakers. AI and Tim Duncan are not able to get it done. David Robinson rolls through them. Larry Johnson, Ray Allen, and Jason Kidd get out of the first round. We have the Cheek Riders sweeping the nets. We have the sixth seed Charlotte Hornets eliminating KG, Grant Hill, and the Boston Celtics. Once again, the BBLs of the Cheek Riders gets deflated. And the Lakers advancing to the conference finals again, this time against the Phoenix Suns. And the Cavs, too bad they couldn't do this while Larry Bird was on the team make the conference finals against the miami heat without gary payton led by vin baker averaging 26 and 11 in the playoffs and the los angeles lakers make the finals again this time against the cleveland cavaliers terrible news for the lakers as joe smith is gone for the season broken right thigh that hurts the Cavs take game one and the Lakers able to match that and take game two. And the Cavs are running the Lakers out of the building. They take game three. And once again, it's a blowout for the Cavs. The Cavs are up 3-1 in the series. But the Lakers are not going to go down easy. They take game five. The Lakers force a game seven. 
And with that, the Cleveland Cavaliers, led by Alonzo Mourning, are able to win the NBA championship, beating the Los Angeles Lakers in a seven game series. John Wagner, whoever the fuck that is, wins finals MVP, averaging 20 points and nine assists. Apparently he's been a known bucket getter in Cleveland. Dominique Wilkins, finally calls it a career after 16 seasons. He finishes with one NBA championship when he was on the tail end of that Warriors dynasty, a nine-time All-Star. Byron Scott calls it a career as well, a five-time NBA champion, mostly with the, I think all with the Lakers, and a three-time sixth man of the year winner. Now the draft lottery, the Orlando Magic get the first overall pick. Will they pick Dirk or will they pick Vince Carter or none of the above? With the first pick, the Orlando Magic select Dirk Nowitzki. With the second pick, the Knicks select Gabe Buckner. Are you kidding me? They pass up on Vince Carter for Gabe Buckner. Now the Vancouver Grizzlies select Mark Adams. What? No way. The Wizards select Vince Carter with the fourth pick in the draft. I cannot believe Vince fell to number four. Whoever made that decision for the Knicks and the Grizzlies need to be fired. Fifth to the Hawks, Anton Jameson. And Paul Pierce goes to the Chicago Bulls. Al Harrington to the Bucks. Skip to my Lou to the Raptors. Larry Hughes joins the Blazers. Mike Bibby to the Nets. Rashard Lewis to the Spurs. Ricky Davis joins Michael Jordan and the Rockets. And the number one overall pick in real life, Michael Oluwakandi is on the Trailblazers as a 71 overall. Jason Kidd is a free agent this year and Anthony Cheeks, the five-time All-Star who's made the finals but came up short. And Jason Kidd stays on the Phoenix Suns. Glenn Robinson re-signs to the Spurs. Jawan Howard re-signs to the Clippers. Robert Ory to the Wizards, joining Mark Jackson and rookie Vince Carter. And Anthony Cheeks, the ring chaser, joins Allen Iverson and Tim Duncan in Dallas. Zadrunas Ilgauskas joins the New York Knicks, along with Gabe Buckner. Maybe this guy can prove me wrong, who knows, but there's no reason why he should have been picked over Vince Carter. Jalen Rose to the Rockets. He joins Diddy and Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's an 88 overall now. His career is going on the downhill. And the Vancouver Grizzlies sign a young 25-year-old Grant Hill. And now we have Allen Iverson winning the MVP for the Dallas Mavericks. Anton Jameson winning the Rookie of the Year award, 15 and nine. Jamal Moore, the Sixth Man of the Year. David Robinson, another DPOY. And Zadrunas Ilgauskas, MIP for the Knicks. I knew he was gonna do good for the Knicks. 15 and nine as the center for the Knicks. All NBA first team. AI, Jason Kidd, Chris Webber, KG, and David Robinson. Kenny Anderson, All NBA second team, 21 points a game. Steph Marbury, 23 points a game. He's a bucket getter. Vin Baker still on the All-NBA second team, 23 and 11. Tim Duncan and Shaq. Steve Nash, Mahmoud Abdul-Raouf, still doing his thing in Sacramento, as he has been his whole career. Christian Leitner, All-NBA third team. Antonio McDice again. And Alonzo Mourning, part of the reigning, defending NBA champion, Cleveland Cavaliers. All defensive team, Michael Jordan injured. Vince Carter putting up 20 points for the Wizards. So is Dirk 21 and seven for the Magic. And Paul Pierce, 16 for the Bulls. Gabe Buckner, 15 for the Knicks. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm sleeping on him a little bit. Who am I kidding? I'm still taking VC. AI and Tim Duncan's Mavericks able to clinch the first seed. And Antonio McDice and Peja Stojakovic able to clinch the first seed in the East. And Allen Iverson and Tim Duncan come up short as they lose in the equivalent to Game 7 to the Phoenix Suns led by Larry Johnson. The Lakers also make it out of the first round beating the Golden State Warriors. Shaq and the Nuggets able to beat the Timberwolves as well. And the second seed Kings get knocked out by the Jazz. The Pacers are able to sweep the Pistons in three. And the sixth seed Bucks able to eliminate the defending champ Cavs. I just realized a moment of silence for Anthony Cheeks. He gets eliminated with the Mavericks. 
The Suns' big three can't get it done. Penny and Shaq once again steamrolling their way to the conference finals. And Peja Stojakovic and the Pacers able to overcome the 43 point performance by KG in game seven and they make it to the conference finals. Kenny Smith able to lead the New Jersey Nets to the conference finals after beating the Milwaukee Bucks in seven. And the Los Angeles Lakers able to overcome Penny and Shaq led by Joe Smith. And the Pacers are looking like a powerhouse and they make it to their first NBA finals of the sim. And we sub into game one of the NBA Finals as the Los Angeles Lakers are up by three with a minute 40 left. Gets shut down by Antonio McDice. Gary Payton's step back is good. Now Cliff Robinson step back. Mid range is off, but McDice on the glass and, get, and gets the layup to go. Gets it down to Divock. Guarded by, it looks like Gary Trent. Vlade. Post moves, gets the layup, and it's good! Vlade Divac puts the Lakers up by five. Pull up three! Bang! What a shot for D Brown! The Pacers needed that shot. Now Gary Payton going to work, takes a step back in the paint and gets it to go. First free throw is good, and that might seal the deal if he makes the second one. And he does. Nash now finds D Brown in the corner for three, and it's good! Another contested three for D Brown! And they foul Gary Payton. First free throw misses! If they miss this, Indiana can tie the game with a three. And he misses the second free throw, no way! Armstrong gives it to D Brown, back to Armstrong, for three contested, and it's no good, they rushed it, and they sold the game. And game one to the Lakers because of a misplay by BJ Armstrong. And the Lakers are able to walk away with a victory in game two and take a 2-0 series lead. And once again, the Lakers beat the Pacers and take a 3-0 series lead. And as game four winds down, the Los Angeles Lakers win another NBA championship led by Gary Payton. Isaiah Thomas calls it a career. He is a one-time NBA champion and finals MVP in the very first season of this sim. Charles Barkley calls it a career, a four-time All-Star and nothing else for him. One of the most disappointing players in all of this sim. And Patrick Ewing retires. He was not able to win an NBA championship but he was a nine-time All-Star and the Rookie of the Year. And the draft lottery, the Supersonics get the number one overall pick and the Knicks follow that. With the first pick in the 1999 NBA Draft, the Supersonics select Steve Francis. Steve Franchise to the Sonics. With the second pick, the Knicks select Baron Davis. The Bulls select Manu Ginobili from Argentina. The Orlando Magic now select Andre Miller. Now the Sixers select Corey Maggette and Richard Hamilton to the Hawks. He joins Antoine Jameson. Elton Brand to the Wizards. Lamar Odom to the Raptors joins Steve Nash. We also get Ron Artest to the Pistons and Jason Terry to the Charlotte Hornets. And Sean Marion falls to 20th overall to the Heat. KG is a free agent along with Antonio McDice, Derek McKee, Jerry Stackhouse, and Joe Smith. This is going to be such an interesting free agency. KG stays a Celtic. And Antonio McDice runs it back in Indiana with Peja Stojakovic. Joe Smith decides to leave the Lakers dynasty to join Chauncey Billups and Stefan Marbury in Vancouver. Derek McKee leaves the Knicks to join Dirk Nowitzki and Scottie Pippen in Orlando. They might be cooking low key. Jerry Stackhouse stays on the Pistons, now with 72 overall 37 year old Clyde Drexler. And I just seen this now, 37 year old John Stockton joins the San Antonio Spurs. And the Lakers are able to replace Joe Smith with Latrell Sprewell. 
And now a little recap, Hakeem Olajuwon is still on the Chicago Bulls, this time now being led by a young Paul Pierce and Manu Ginobili. We still have Michael Jordan now 36 years old with, a two, year, with two years left on his contract with the Rockets. Is he going to go championship chasing or is this his last contract in the NBA? Jason Kidd, Ray Allen, and Larry Johnson. What a big three the Phoenix Suns got. And the Supersonics still have a 20-year-old Kobe Bryant. He's, he's had a solid career, but hopefully he can take that next step. I know he will. Allen Iverson with back-to-back -back MVPs for the Mavs. 32 points a game is crazy. Baron Davis, Rookie of the Year. Justin Kelly, 6th Man of the Year, 14 off the bench. Not too bad. And David Robinson with another DPOI. They don't even show in his award history because of how decorated his career has been. And Dirk Nowitzki, Most Improved Player. 28 points a game now. All-NBA First Team. All-NBA Second Team. The two cousins leading the All-NBA Third Team. VC, 22 points a game. T-Mac, 18 points a game. All-Defensive First Team. All defensive second team, Michael Jordan, 37 years of age and still on the all defensive teams. All rookie first team, Manu, 15 a game for the Bulls, Elton Brand, 12 points, Lamar Odom, 14 for the Raptors, not too bad. All NBA second team, we got the first overall pick, Steve Francis, only 9 points a game. And the Sacramento Kings, able to clinch the first seed, along with the Wizards, with Vince Carter. AI, Tim Duncan, and Anthony Cheeks are in the second seed in the West. The Phoenix Suns get eliminated in the Game 7 equivalent by Penny Hardaway and Shaq looking for their third NBA championship. Dirk Nowitzki and the Magic are unable to get it done in the first round. Chris Webber and the Pistons still can't get it done in the playoffs. KG able to knock them out. And the Toronto Raptors led by Lamar Odom, Tracy McGrady, Skip to my Lou, and Steve Nash come up short against the Nets led by Allen Houston. And a 35-year-old Mark Jackson able to close out the Charlotte Hornets alongside Vince Carter. And David Robinson, torn left calf muscle, is gone for the season. He leaves his fifth seed Warriors to face the first seed Kings in the second round. And without D-Rob, the Kings make quick work of the Warriors, sweeping them in the second round. Iverson with a 51-point game in Game 6 to close out the Denver Nuggets and make the Conference Finals. And the New Jersey Nets, Michael Finley, Danielle Marshall, Mike Bibby, Allen Houston able to knock out Vince Carter and the Wizards. And once again, KG comes up short, but Peja Stojakovic and Antonio McDice are looking to make the finals one more time. And the Sacramento Kings almost blow the series lead, but Mahmoud abdul Rauf is able to close out Allen Iverson, Anthony Cheeks, and Tim Duncan in Game 7 with a 30 and 14 point performance. And Antonio McDice Pedro Stojakovic and squad make quick work of the Nets with a gentleman sweep. Now we have the first seed Kings versus the second seed Pacers in the 2000 NBA Finals. And game one goes to the Sacramento Kings. And we sub in with Indiana up by five against the Kings right now. D Brown hit the clutch three last series and hits it again. D Brown has ice in his veins. He can hit clutch threes in the finals. We saw it last year and we saw it now. Pull up three for Abdul Rauf and he hits it. 40 points for Abdul Rauf. He cuts the lead to five. Over to Ratliff, McDice, to Daughtery. They're scrambling and he gets fouled by Hawkins. Daniel Daughtery to the line. First free throw is good. Second free throw is good too and that puts the lead to seven. The Kings need a quick basket here. They're down by seven with 44 seconds remaining. Hershey Hawkins at the top of the key now. Finds Abdul Rauf. Pull up midi. And he bricks it. Stojakovic carries the ball up the court now. They can hold it. But he takes a fadeaway three from deep. What is he doing? The Kings need to act fast here. Mahmoud Abdul Rauf takes it all the way. Gets fouled. 
and he goes to the line for two. First free throw, and he hits it. 41 for Abdul Rauf. Second one is good too, that cuts the lead to five now. D Brown's free throw is no good, he missed it 93%, it does not matter. Second one is good though, and that might ice the game. And with that, the Pacers take game two, it is now tied 1-1. And the Sacramento Kings are able to run away with Game 3, taking a 2-1 series lead. And the Indiana Pacers respawn right away, 2-2 now. And the Pacers mean business as they take Game 5. 3-2 for the Pacers. The Kings are facing elimination. And the Sacramento Kings are able to force a Game 7. And just like that, the Sacramento Kings run away in Game 7 with a 26-point win. Take home their first NBA championship of this sim, led by Mahmoud abdul Rauf. Put up 29-11 and in this series, didn't miss a single free throw. Now Clyde Drexler calls it a career, ending his career on the Detroit Pistons. He was a one-time NBA champion and finals MVP, leading the Clippers to their one-off NBA championship run. John Stockton ends his career ringless, but he's a 12-time All-Star. Wayman Tisdale, he helped the Nuggets win in 95 with Shaq and Penny, calls it a career. And the draft lottery, the Miami Heat get the first overall pick, followed by the Trailblazers and the Houston Rockets. With the first pick of the 2000 draft, the Miami Heat select Kenyon Martin. The Portland Trailblazers are the second pick, select Ernest Grady. Who? Stromile Swift goes to the Houston Rockets, one of the best in-game dunkers in NBA history. Reggie Weber goes to the Bulls, I guess. We're still looking for Jamal Crawford here. Michael Red goes to the Atlanta Hawks. What a pickup. The Sixers select. The Sixers trade their pick. And the Atlanta Hawks select Quentin Richardson. The Clippers now pick Hito Turkoglu. The Bucks select Darius Miles. The Minnesota Timberwolves select Jamal Crawford, who falls to 13th. Raptors legend Mo Pete falls 29th to the defending NBA champion Kings. Allen Iverson, Ray Allen, Steph Marbury, Jamal Mashburn, Steve Nash, Scottie Pippen, Peja Stojakovic, all free agents. The Mavericks are able to re-sign Allen Iversons, and the the Suns are able to re-sign Ray Allen. The Celtics are able to re-sign Marcus Camby. Pedro Stojakovic stays a pacer. The Timberwolves re-sign Sharif Abdurrahim. The Raptors re-sign Steve Nash. Kobe Bryant re-signs to the Supersonics. Tim Hardaway re-signs to the Clippers. Stephon Marbury stays in Vancouver. Vin Baker leaves the Heat and joins the New Jersey Nets with Allen Houston, Mike Bibby. Scottie Pippen joins the Pacers. Can this big three get it done? The Jazz are able to re-sign Jamal Mashburn. And the Clippers sign Jermaine O'Neal. He leaves the shadow of KG as an 85 overall. Can he lead this team? to a possible championship. Antoine Walker joins Anton Jameson, Richard Hamilton, Kenny Anderson, and Michael Red on the Atlanta Hawks. And Q Rich. This team could be lethal in a couple of seasons. 39-year-old James Worthy leaves the Lakers and goes to the Boston Celtics. We know that would never happen in real life. And Allen Iverson with his third straight MVP for the Dallas Mavericks, 33 points, 9 assists. Kenyon Martin, 17-6 and six for the Rookie of the Year award. Kurt Thomas, 6th Man of the Year for the Warriors. Alonzo Mourning, DPOY, 23-12 and 12, but 2.5 blocks a game. Sean Marion, MIP for the Heat. Ooh, Shaq has right knee tendonitis, 6-8 to eight weeks. That could cost the Nuggets in the playoffs. Dirk is on the All-NBA first team, 29 and 11, 45 almost, almost 45% from three. KG, Jason Kidd, Allen Iverson, Steve Nash leading the Raptors, All-NBA second team. Vin Baker on the New Jersey Nets, 23 and 13, having one of his best seasons. Chris Webber, pinched nerve in the back, two to four weeks. That could be costly for the Pistons. Vince Carter, 26 points per game for the All-NBA third team spot. 
We have yet to see Kobe make an All-NBA team. All-Rookie first team, we have Stromau Swift putting up 11 and 8. Hito Turkoglu, 17.7 rebounds for the Clippers. Darius Miles, 12 points for the Bucks, not too bad. We have Jason Kidd, Larry Johnson, and Ray Allen clinching the first seed. And we have the Toronto Raptors clinching the first seed. And the eighth seed, Minnesota Timberwolves, able to knock out Ray Allen, Jason Kidd, and Larry Johnson broke his wrist and was not playing during this series at all. That's why they got eliminated. They still should have got it done though, to be honest with you. Kobe and the Sonics eliminate Shaq and the Nuggets. The seventh seed Clippers, led by Ito Turkoglu in his rookie season, eliminates the Vancouver Grizzlies, led by Chauncey and Steph Marbury. And Joe Smith, championship DNA right there. Over in the East, we got the Raptors beating the Pistons in this Game 7 equivalent. Vin Baker and Allen Houston able to knock out the Pacers, who were hoping to make the finals once again. The 6th seed Knicks eliminate the Hawks with Zadrunas Ilgauskas putting up 37-9 and nine in Game 4. Kenny Anderson with a 39 point performance but it is not enough. And the 7th seed Wizards led by Vince Carter and Elton Brand are able to eliminate the 2nd seed Celtics led by KG with a 35-18 and 18 point game. And the first seed Raptors are knocked out by Mike Bibby and the Nets. And the New York Knicks make the conference finals once again. Vince Carter with a 47 point game, but still coming up short against Ilgauskas and the Knicks. Kobe and the Sonics get eliminated by Tim Hardaway, Hito Turkoglu, and the Clippers. The Clippers make the conference finals against the eighth seed Minnesota Timberwolves, who take down Allen Iverson, Tim Duncan, and the GOAT Anthony Cheeks. Sharif Abdurrahim putting up 41, Mitch Richmond 20, and they get it done. Seventh and eighth seeds fighting for the finals in the West, and we have the fourth and sixth seeds fighting for the finals in the East. And we have the Minnesota Timberwolves sweeping. Sharif Abdurrahim 32 and 12 leading the Timberwolves to the finals for the first time in our sim, and the New York Knicks make the finals once again led by Gabe Buckner I was wrong Gabe Buckner leads the Knicks to the finals alongside Zadrunas Ilgauskas and Baron Davis I was wrong I just realized that Vince Carter got eliminated by Gabe Buckner I apologize Gabe you know what you're doing you deserve to go number two. We now have the eighth seed Timberwolves facing off against the sixth seed New York Knicks, led by Gabe Buckner. And the New York Knicks run away with this game. Gabe Buckner, 39 points in game one of the finals to give the Knicks a 1-0 series lead. And the Knicks take game two. Sharif Abdurrahim, 27 points, but it's not enough. Gabe Buckner, 32. Zadrunas Ilgaskis, 31 and 14. What have the Knicks built? We now jump in with the Knicks up by five with a minute and a half remaining. And almost a steal, but Owens takes it all the way and lays it up, and it's good over Jackson. Bobby Jackson, five on the shot clock. Bobby Jackson, fadeaway three, and it's good. Bobby Jackson gives the New York Knicks a six point lead in game three of the finals. Jamal Crawford on the screen, finding Owens, who finds Cartwright, who lays it up over Ilgowskis. 36 seconds left, Timberwolves down by four. Who else but Gabe Buckner to the line with 33 points on the night. First free throw is good for Gabe Buckner. Drafted above Vince Carter in the 98 draft. I thought the Knicks did a terrible job of drafting that season, but it turns out Gabe Buckner has led them to the NBA Finals. Keith Van Horn, shot clock down for three. No good, but a putback by Cartwright. And the Timberwolves are down by four with eight seconds remaining. Buckner gets fouled and has to go to the line with 35 points on the night. Gabe Buckner, to ice the game, hits the free throw. for 37 points and he makes it Gabe Buckner the savior of the Knicks the New York Knicks take a 3-0 series lead over the Minnesota Timberwolves can they sweep the Timberwolves with game four
and the Timberwolves stay alive. Baron Davis put up 25, Gabe Buckner with 16, but Glenn Rice with a 22 point game, Mitch Richmond with 21, Sharif Abdul Rahim almost a triple double, and it is enough to keep the Timberwolves alive. Game five, let's go. And with that, the New York Knicks are able to take home the NBA championship led by Gabe Buckner. 30 points per game in the NBA Finals. I can't believe Gabe Buckner turned out the way he did. I thought it was a complete fluke that he got drafted above Vince Carter at number two. But he leads the New York Knicks to an NBA Finals after eliminating Vince Carter himself. James Worthy calls it a career. A seven-time NBA champion with the Lakers. Chris Mullen could not get it done with Hakeem in Chicago, but calls it a career at age 37. Del Curry at age 37 calls it a career. One-time All-Star. Mitch Richmond won the Rookie of the Year. Nothing else, pretty much. He just came off the finals run with the Timberwolves, but could not get it done. And the draft lottery, the Raptors get the first overall pick followed by Houston and Miami. This is once again a very deep NBA draft, the 2001 NBA draft with the first pick, the Raptors select. Pau Gasol from Spain. With the second pick, the Rockets select. Gilbert Arenas and the Miami Heat with the third pick select Tony Parker out of France. The 76ers with the fifth pick select Jason Richardson. Years before they get him in real life. With the seventh pick, the Bucks take Joe Johnson. The Utah Jazz with the eighth pick select. Oh, they trade. They trade their pick for Kevin Jennings. And the Minnesota Timberwolves select Shane Battier. Zach Randolph goes to the Wizards. Richard Jefferson to the Timberwolves. Tyson Chandler joins Shaq and the Nuggets. Eddie Curry to the Pacers. The White Mamba Brian Scalabrini to the Atlanta Hawks. Gerald Wallace joins the New York Knicks. Chris Webber, Jason Kidd, Tim Duncan, Chauncey Billups, Gary Payton, all free agents. Zydrunas Ogaskis, is he going to run it back with the Knicks after winning an NBA championship? Anthony Cheeks, once again a free agent. Tracy McGrady is a free agent. Where will he end up? 38-year-old Michael Jordan, ringless, is a free agent. Will he chase a ring? Or will he re-sign to the Houston Rockets with Diddy? The Grizzlies re-sign Chauncey Billups. The Mavericks re-sign Tim Duncan. Michael Jordan got traded to Orlando last season and re-signs there. Alongside Nick Van Exel, Dirk Nowitzki, Andre Miller. This team could make a deep run. Gary Payton re-signs with the Lakers. Jalen Rose signs to the Rockets with Stromal Swift. And Gilbert Arenas, Tracy McGrady re-signs to Toronto. This team could go far in a couple seasons. Jason Kidd gets signed to the Boston Celtics. He joins Kevin Garnett and Zydrunas Ilgauskas joins the Philadelphia 76ers with Corey Maggette and a rookie Jason Richardson. Grant Hill re-signs to Memphis. Chris Webber goes to Golden State just like he was in real life. He joins old man David Robinson, 35 years of age, still putting up buckets. Warrior Dynasty member Brad Daughtery signs with the Minnesota Timberwolves and Anthony Cheeks joins the Los Angeles Clippers with Hito Turkoglu, Tim Hardaway, Jawan Howard, and Jermaine O'Neal. Joe Dumars moves on from the Clippers and signs with the Toronto Raptors. And Diddy, now 38 and ringless, joins the New Jersey Nets. Jason Kidd wins the MVP of the 2002 NBA season 23-7-10 on the Boston Celtics. Gilbert Arenas Rookie of the Year 23-7. Dino Raja Sixth Man of the Year. Alonzo Mourning another DPOI for the Cavs. And Rashard Lewis MIP 16-5. All NBA first and we got Vin Baker. Still going strong at age 30, 22 and 14. Alonzo Mourning, All-NBA First Team as well. Jason Kidd, your MVP. 
Gilbert Arenas and Vince Carter, all NBA second team. And still no Kobe, but we got Ray Allen, 25 a game for the Suns. Elton Brand, 17 and 12. All defensive team, Jason Kidd, KG, Antonio McDice. All defensive second team, we got Ray Allen. All rookie first team. And Joe Johnson injured, but 15 a game. We got the Marbury and Billups led Memphis Grizzlies with the first seed, and we got the Steve Nash led alongside Tracy McGrady, Toronto Raptors. And we see Kobe Sonics with the fifth seed. And the eighth seed, Denver Nuggets. Led by Penny Hardaway and Shaq Still. Dethrone the number one seed, Memphis Grizzlies. We have Kobe and the Sonics eliminated by Gilbert Arenas and Stromile Swift. Chris Webber and David Robinson get it done in the first round. We have Larry Hughes and Reggie Ball for the Blazers able to get it done. And the sixth seed Wizards. Since Carter and Elton Brand doing their thing. Also notice that Gabe Buckner and the New York Knicks are not even in the playoffs after winning the finals last season. And the Toronto Raptors get eliminated by Zadruna Silgauskas and former Raptor Latrell Sprewell. And KG and the Celtics once again eliminated, but this time by Vince Carter. Chris Webber in game six. Puts up 43, 13, and seven to eliminate the Portland Trailblazers and advance to the conference finals. And of course that the Rockets, now they don't have Diddy or Michael Jordan, they make the conference finals. And the Washington Wizards, led by Vince Carter and his 41 point game, advanced to the NBA Finals. And Chris Webber, 27, 22, and 7, alongside David Robinson, 23, 15, and 6, lead the Golden State Warriors back to the finals. We jump into this game with the Warriors up by 4 in the NBA Finals. They're trying to get it down to Chris Webber. Chris Webber on the block, post spin, hook shot is good. They're trying to get VC open and they get him open. Vince Carter for three, and it's no good. Rebound by Webber. Now Tony Kukoc mid range is good. Tony Kukoc greens it. Now Elliott to Randolph, Zach Randolph on the Wizards as well. Vince Carter for three, he hits it. Oh, it was a two, it was a foot on the line too. Fred Goodwillie, that's, whoa, that name. Who, who's saying his name is Good Willie? Does he have a Good Willie? The underhanded free throw too? What the fuck? What is going on with that dude? Chris Webber with 33 and 22 is able to get it done for the Golden State Warriors. And the Warriors take game one. And the Wizards are no match for the Warriors. Chris Webber 25 and 23. Vince Carter's 23 is just not enough. But the Wizards are able to answer right back with a blowout of their own. Vince Carter's 35, Elton Brand, 26 and 18. They're able to shut down Chris Webber. And the Washington Wizards take game four as well. Vince Carter, 29 and seven. Elton Brand, 25 and 12. Get it done over the 44 and 12 effort of Chris Webber. It is now tied. 2-2 in the NBA Finals. And the Washington Wizards once again take down the Golden State Warriors 28 and 13 for Weber, 22 17 and 7 for David Robinson at age 36. But it's still not enough to get it done against Vince Carter's 31 points. It is win or go home for the Warriors. And the Washington Wizards with a 45 and 22 effort from Chris Webber is not good enough. Vince Carter and the Washington Wizards win the NBA championship. Vince Carter averaging 27, five and five this series takes home the finals MVP. Hakeem Olajuwon at age 39 calls it a career. He spent all 18 years with the Bulls 11 time all-star, nine time DPOY, but no rings. Michael Jordan, DPOY one time, one time MVP. Spent most of his years in Houston, not able to win a single championship. Joe Dumars, 
one-time NBA champion calls it a career. The draft lottery, the Hornets get the number one pick followed by the Lakers. Will the Hornets draft Yao Ming or will they draft Amari Stoudemire? With the first pick in the NBA draft, the New Orleans Hornets select Yao Ming out of China and the Lakers have the second pick and they use that too trade they trade the second overall pick to the kings for hershey hawkins and the fourth overall pick the kings use that to select amari stoudemire out of high school the milwaukee bucks are the third pick select jay williams out of duke what could have been with him in real life if it wasn't for that accident and the los angeles lakers pass up on amari stoudemire to select austin chambers huh who Karan Butler goes number six to the Pacers. Drew Gooden to the Heat. The last thing they needed is another forward. Carlos Boozer to the Clippers. Luis Scola joins the Nuggets. Nene to the Chicago Bulls. Vince Carter coming off an NBA championship is a free agent. Is he gonna run it back or will he try and join another team? Paul Pierce, Dirk Nowitzki, Larry Johnson. Gabe Buckner, all free agents. Paul Pierce re-signs to the Bulls, along with Rick Smiths, Nene, and Manu Ginobili. Vince Carter re-signs to the Wizards. Larry Johnson re-signs to the Suns. Pistons keep Jerry Stackhouse, and they're building with that, with him and Ron Artest. Dirk Nowitzki re-signs with the Magic, and Gabe Buckner re-signs with the New York Knicks, stays with Baron Davis. Antoine Jameson stays with Atlanta, stays with Richard Hamilton, Robert Ory. Eamon Stoudemire re-signs to the Rockets, along with Gilbert Arenas. Skip to my Lou re-signs with the Toronto Raptors. Larry Hughes to the Trailblazers. Joe Smith goes to the New Jersey Nets and joins Vin Baker and Allen Houston. Ricky Davis stays with the Celtics with KG and Jason Kidd and Marcus Camby, 87 overall now. Rashard Lewis stays on the San Antonio Spurs with Katino Mobley and Steven Jackson. We now enter the 2000s era. Kobe Bryant wins the MVP of the 2003 NBA season, 32 points per game for the Sonics. And Yao Ming wins Rookie of the Year. Jamal Perry wins Sixth Man of the Year, averaging 18 points off the bench for the Sonics. Shaq with another DPOY. Seems like he kind of fell off the radar, I think because of injuries. Shane Battier, MIP. Kobe Bryant, All-NBA First Team, along with Allen Iverson, who has a high left ankle sprain for four to six weeks. Chris Webber once again. Dirk now on the All-NBA First Team. Shaq once again. Jason Kidd, Steph Marbury, KG, Vin Baker still going strong at age 31, putting up 20 and 11. Elton Brand for the Wizards. All NBA third team. We got Ray Allen, Gilbert Arenas, Sharif Abdurrahim. Day-to-day -day injuries, not terrible. Tim Duncan and David Robinson. All NBA third team at 37 years of age. All defensive first team. All defensive second team. All rookie first team. Amari Stoudemire for the Kings, 14 and seven. That's a solid rookie year. Jay Williams, 15 points. Ron Butler, 10 points. All rookie second team. Kobe Bryant and the Seattle Supersonics clinch the first seed against the Los Angeles Lakers. Vin Baker able to lead the New Jersey Nets to the first seed in the East. The Seattle Supersonics able to take care of business against the Lakers. The fifth seed Kings led by Mahmoud Abdul Rauf and Amari Stoudemire. The third seed Jazz led by Jamal Mashburn able to take down the sixth seed Denver Nuggets in seven games. The second seed Timberwolves get it done against the seventh seed Rockets. Over in the east you see the eighth seed Washington Wizards. Vince Carter goes down with broken ribs and is injured but the eighth seed Wizards able to knock out the New Jersey Nets in seven games in the first round. Kobe and the Sonics able to sweep Mahmoud Abdul Rauf and the Kings. And the Minnesota Timberwolves able to take down the Jazz in seven games. Led by Sharif Abdul Rahim with a 33 and 14 game. The Rod Strickland and Jason Richardson led Sixers are able to sweep the 8th seed Wizards and make it to the conference finals. And the Raptors led by Steve Nash, T-Mac and Lamar Odom are able to make it to the conference finals. And in the NBA finals we have the Kobe Bryant led supersonics 
facing off against Steve Nash and the Toronto Raptors. Who is going to win the NBA Finals awaiting the greatest draft class in NBA history? And the Toronto Raptors are able to win this game by two points. I didn't jump in, and it was after I decided I wasn't going to jump in. 26 points for Lamar Odom, 26 for Gasol, 21 for Skip to my Lou, Steve Nash with 18 and 10, Kobe with 48 points, and look at the efficiency, but still unable to get it done. They fall short by just two points. We jump into game two of the finals. Kobe and the Supersonics are up by two points against the Raptors. Kobe with the ball at the top of the key. Screen up top, finds Steve Smith in the corner for three and hits it. The vision by Kobe Bryant to find Steve Smith. They, the Raptors need to answer here. Lamar Odom with the screen from Gasol. Pump fakes the jump shot, probably could have taken it. Gasol now takes a hook shot. No good, Kemp with the rebound, Steve Francis now advancing the ball to Steve Smith all the way, gets the layup, but no good, he misses the layup in clutch time, Toronto needs a bucket here, oh and a crossover by Lamar Odom, and he dishes it off to Gasol for the and one, Pau Gasol, clutch free throws here, they need these to drop, first one is good, Kobe, now working, he gets fouled hard by Tracy McGrady. Kobe and T-Mac going at it. Kobe, 47 points on the night, 68% efficiency knocks down the first free throw. Seattle by three. Kobe's second free throw is good. 105-101 for Seattle. Lamar Odom finds T-Mac in the corner, contested. No good, Kobe with a great closeout. Now Kobe gets it and advances it. Steve Nash guarding him. Kobe backs down Steve Nash, kicks it out. Steve Smith wide open for three and hits it. Kobe Bryant able to find Steve Smith once again who knocks down the three in clutch time. Now Odom off the inbound. Odom drives it in, gets it to Gasol. Layup is good. Now Kobe, all the time in the world to work with. Crossover, Go, draws the double. Kobe step back is good. Ice in the veins, the Black Mamba. Lamar Odom, they need a bucket here. Lamar Odom runs a pick and roll with Powell, it forces it inside and it's stolen by Sean Kemp. And with that, the final 10 seconds can run out. Steve Nash put in 28 and nine. Skip to my Lou, 18. Pau Gasol with clutch layups and free throws, 17. But Kobe Bryant with 51 points leads the Supersonics to a victory. We jump into game three with George Merson, the giant at the free throw line. Raptors up by six, now by seven. Now Sean Kemp down low with the post spin and an easy layup in clutch time. Leads into the paint, has to back out though. Steve Nash struggling to find an open shot right now. Gets a spin move, but switch. George Merson layup is good. When in doubt, give it to the big man. I don't know why Kobe's on the bench right now. Merson with the screen. Steve Nash forces it and gets a turnover. But the Raptors retain possession. Why is Kobe not subbed in? T-Mac, five on the shot clock. Down to Ellis. Layup is no good. Kemp with the rebound. 35 seconds left. They're down by seven. They need a bucket here. Steve Francis, why is Kobe on the bench? Sean Kemp down low, gets the layup to go. Seattle down by five now. I have no idea why Kobe Bryant is on the bench right now. First free throw by T-Mac is good. Second free throw is good and Kobe is still on the bench. Kobe Bryant is still on the bench. What is going on? And a turnover by the Sonics and Lamar Odom can let the clock run out. What a costly turnover by the Seattle Supersonics as they fall to Toronto in Game 3. Kobe Bryant had 27 points but was on the bench in the closing minutes of the game. Steve Nash 27 and 10. 7 turnovers though. And shot 2 for 14 from 3. Lamar Odom 23 and 12. And the Raptors take a 2-1 series lead.
We jump in to game four, Seattle up by one with two minutes remaining. Skip to my Lou up top, screen by Gasol. Alston for three, and it's no good, rebound by Brown. Now Perry, who's dealing with an injury apparently. Now Sean Kemp, trying to post up. Takes it all the way, gets a foul. Lafonso Ellis picks up a foul. Sean Kemp only has four points this game. And he makes the free throw in clutch time. Kobe Bryant checks into the game. Sean Kemp's second free throw is off. Pull up three for Lamar Odom is good. In the grill of Kobe Bryant. Perry. Pull up in his face, no good. They just threw away that possession. Steve Nash now. Pushes it to McGrady. McGrady with the layup and it's good over Steve Francis. The Raptors take a one point lead. Francis to Perry for three. It is good. And the Toronto Raptors call a timeout. The final 10 seconds here. The Raptors need to tie the game at least. And he hits Lamar Odom with three, with two, with one. Lamar Odom to tie the game and it's good. Lamar Odom. Hits the game tying layup with 0.3 seconds left on the clock. The Supersonics have 0.3 left on the clock for a game winner. Will they get it done? Now they look for Perry. It won't count. And we're going to overtime. Kobe Bryant and the Seattle Supersonics looking to win their title. Perry pull up jump shot is good. Now, Steve Nash, will he be able to respond? Finds Lafonso Ellis. I think they're trying to get it to Gasol. They do. Gasol. Gasol bodies Bosch and gets a layup, but no good. Bosch on the screen. Perry feeds him down low and he gets a wide open dunk. The Raptors are falling apart defensively now when it really matters the most. Steve Nash trying to slow things down now for the Raptors. Lafonso Ellis finds Gasol and he goes out of bounds. Now forces Kobe the ball. Guarded quickly and gets doubled immediately, but he throws it cross court to Perry with three on the clock. No good, but Bosch on the putback. Not Chris Bosch on the putback. Finds a cutting Lafonso Ellis, tries to lay it up over Sean Kemp, and it is no good. Bosch on the rebound once again. The Toronto Raptors have been selling this entire overtime period. Now Perry, pull up jump shot, no good, but Bosch on the putback again! Not Chris Bosch on the putback one more time. McGrady on the wing, pull up mid-range, it's good! In the face of Steve Francis, cold-blooded. How will the Supersonics answer? They have the cushion, the six-point lead. They get it to Sean Kemp, guarded by Lafonso Ellis. Kemp. To Bosch. Bosch able to put it up and it is no good. But rebound again and is no good again. Not Chris Bosch can't get it to go. Now Lamar Odom pull up in transition and it is good. Lamar Odom cuts the lead to four. Steve Francis now. I think they're looking to Kobe. Perry mid range. Good. Jamal Perry able to give the Supersonics a six point lead. Lamar Odom in the face of Kobe. No good. Bosch on the glass. Back. Immediate double, but find Steve Francis. The vision of Kobe Bryant is killing the Toronto Raptors. Lamar Odom now step back in the post. Takes it up over Kobe and makes it. Lamar Odom and Kobe Bryant are going back and forth. Steve Francis finds a cutting Kobe who dunks it. Now Odom. Trying to dance on Kobe, takes it up in the layup, it is no good. Kemp with the rebound, he brings it down. The Raptors have another chance. Can they get something going? He finds Gasol in the paint, pump fake, gets blocked, and Tracy McGrady goes out of bounds while trying to retrieve the rebound. Looks for Perry, Perry now. Oh, and a steal, oh no! What a steal, and they call timeout immediately. Now Odom with the ball. Gets around Kobe, step back, wide open, and it is no good. An open mid-range. Jamal Perry at the line now. First one is good, and that puts the Supersonics up by seven. Bucket, and they need a quick. Gasol layup is off. 
Gasol is bricking layups now. Kobe in the corner to ice the game, and it's good. Kobe Bryant ices the game with a corner three. Kobe Bryant had 44, 6, and 10. Jamal Perry with 23 and 7. And Cody Bosch, it's not Chris Bosch, it's Cody Bosch with clutch putbacks in the overtime and fourth quarters. Tracy McGrady with 31. Kobe and T Mac go at it. It is now a 2 2 series. Kobe Bryant and the Supersonics able to take Game 5. Kobe put up a 31-point triple-double. Steve Nash had 24-10, and 10, but it is not good enough. The Supersonics are up 3-2. It is win or go home for Toronto. And Toronto is able to hold on. Kobe drops 27, but it is no match for Steve Nash's 30 and 15. Lamar Odom with 27. T-Mac with 20. The Raptors force Game 7. The Seattle Supersonics, led by Kobe Bryant, averaging 38, 6, and 7 in the NBA Finals, win the NBA Championship. And one of the greatest basketball players of all time, the legend, Anthony Cheeks, after 16 years in the NBA, calls it a career as he ends it on the Cleveland Cavaliers. He is a five-time All-Star, but could never get it done in the finals. He made it with the Washington Bullets back in 1994, but fell victim to the Warriors dynasty. In the greatest draft class in NBA history, who will end up with the number one overall pick?